WWE broke the news on Thursday that Roman Reigns will be returning to Raw this Monday night in Atlanta to address the fans on the status of his battle with leukemia. We have not heard from Roman Reigns, at least not on WWE television, since October 22nd. That is the episode of Raw where he came out and he made his announcement. He vacated the Universal Championship. He not only made the announcement about his cancer diagnosis, but the fact that he had had leukemia once before, which even very few people inside the company even knew. He has not shared exactly what type of leukemia that he has. There's different types. Some are more serious than others. But from the photos and the videos that I've seen of him since then, he looks pretty damn good for a guy going through leukemia treatment. Uh, he filmed some stuff with The Rock for his Fast and Furious spinoff that's due out this summer. That's that uh, Hobbs and Shaw movie. He's filmed some other stuff. He's been keeping very busy. And then on Tuesday morning, after he makes his appearance on Raw tomorrow night, he's going to be uh, appearing on Good Morning America on ABC to talk about his cancer fight. I cannot see this being anything but a positive update. There is no way that WWE is going to promote this appearance in advance like this and a GMA appearance to announce bad news. They're not going to have Wade Barrett come out, you know, before Roman makes his uh, announcement, you know, and, and say he's got some bad news. I don't see that happening here unless the man is retiring and clearly he's not retiring. So I can't see this as being anything but a positive. My hope and my expectation is that he tells us that the treatment is working, or it has worked, and that he has achieved a remission, which would be fantastic. Uh, there is no greater feeling in this world than hearing that word. My mother achieved remission after the very first round of, of treatment for her leukemia. And the only thing that sucks, typically, is that even if you achieve remission right away, you know, after that first round of treatment, you still have to finish out your treatment. It's like taking an antibiotic, right? You can... If you're supposed to be on an antibiotic for 10 days, you can't take it for four days and say, oh, I feel better, I can stop taking it now. I mean, people do, but you're really not supposed to do that. You're supposed to finish out your, your course of treatment, uh, whatever that may be. You know, And that could be a six-month plan, it could be chemo, it could be radiation, it could be any number of things. Uh, again, it's different for everybody. But there's this guy, his name is David Gagne, and he is the general manager of Island Club and Spa on uh, Waikiki in Hawaii. He's been the GM there for the last six months or so, and he's worked there as a personal trainer for the better part of five years, at least according to his LinkedIn when I checked it out. He posted a photo that he took last week with Roman on his Instagram uh, because Reigns has been in Hawaii. I know he was filming scenes for that Hobbs and Shaw movie. Maybe now he's vacationing there. Uh, not a bad place to hang out, I wouldn't think. And he's been training at Ganya's club. He's been training down there. In the photo, he looks great. Roman physically, he looks great. Looks like he could get back in the ring tomorrow if he wanted to. Of course, that doesn't mean physically he's able to. He's not, he's not getting back in the ring tomorrow. But he looks to be in great shape. And in the caption, Ganya said that we are glad to have been able to provide a great space to help him prepare for his in-ring return. So there you go. I think it's pretty safe to say that he's doing well enough uh, that he is already training for an in-ring return. I would think WrestleMania is, you know, obviously uh, far too soon for that. Uh, in fact, in the comments next to the photo, if you scroll down, he's responding to a bunch of uh, commenters. Uh, Ganya said as much. He said that, you know, Reigns is still recovering. Uh, and is still a few months away from an in-ring return. He said that he was working out with him. He was definitely moving slowly. Look, I suppose you can't completely rule out WrestleMania. I would be shocked. I would guess it'll be sometime after Mania. You know, maybe even the summer. Maybe SummerSlam or something. They could build to a big return if he's ready to come back. This does not mean, by the way, that they cannot shoot an angle on television with him tomorrow night. You know, maybe even have a heel come out and interrupt him and get some heel heat. Brock Lesnar, look, Brock Lesnar was scheduled to be on this show in Atlanta. At least as of nine or ten days ago. He was being advertised for Raw in Atlanta. Now, I no longer see his name listed on the website for the State Farm Arena, which is where the show is tomorrow night. Uh, when I looked yesterday, his name was not there. You would think if Brock was going to be on the show, they'd have his name listed there and advertised for the show. 
Uh, and now it's not. Now that doesn't mean he won't be there, but it's very possible that plans changed and he won't be on the show this week after all. But uh, let's say he is. You know, maybe Lesnar and Heyman interrupt Roman after Roman gives us his big uh, medical update, and they use Roman as a way to help hype up the match between Lesnar and Rollins at WrestleMania. You know, may look, maybe maybe it's not even that. Maybe it's as simple as having Rollins. And Dean Ambrose, who all of a sudden is a babyface again, come out to the ring after you know Roman shares his news with us. They come out to the ring for a segment. Uh, and look, again, if Ambrose is leaving, they're not going to have too many more chances to have a Shield reunion in the ring. You know, this could be one of the last Shield photo ops that we get. Maybe he'll announce that he's going to be at WrestleMania in some capacity as a guest. Maybe he'll be ringside for the Rollins match. Maybe he'll be a referee, but he could do any number of things. Maybe he'll just be there to support his good friend Seth Rollins. The bigger point is this. I'm happy that the man seems to be doing well. I'm happy the man is not dying. That'll hopefully be the big news coming out of this segment on Monday night. Uh, to, yeah, that's more important than any stupid, silly wrestling storyline or wrestling angle. And I'm hoping to hear the R word tomorrow night. And I'm not talking about retirement to all you uh, wise asses out there. So I'm, I'm expecting a positive update. Which brings me to my last point. All the people I see online, especially when that picture got posted of him on Instagram at the, uh, at the spa, commenting that, well, of course, the whole thing was a work. Naturally, right? Just in time for WrestleMania. Here comes Roman Reigns. Look at him in that photo. He looks great. Of course, this whole thing was, was a work from the beginning. Him training for an in-ring comeback. Him possibly being at WrestleMania. This is somehow proof that this was all just one big work from the very beginning. Believe it or not, these people actually do exist. I wouldn't believe it myself if I didn't see the comments with my own eyes. Now, I understand that Vince McMahon has done some pretty deplorable shit before. They've done a lot of tasteless, very classless things. Wrestling is a, is a dirty business. It's not just Vince and WWE. I mean, we once saw Ric Flair fake a heart attack in the ring on Nitro. So I've gotten the question from people. Would you put it past WWE to do something like that? To work a, a cancer angle? To get Roman Reigns cheered when he returns? No, I don't think they would do that. I believe there is a line that they won't cross, and that's it. And the fact that there are still people who believe that they would have their top star, that they have been building everything around for the last four, five years now, Go out in front of the world under his real name, not his character name. He didn't come out as Roman Reigns. They came out as Joe. Come out on television under his real name and tell people that he is battling this deadly disease, which kills thousands of people each and every year. And not only is he battling this potentially fatal disease, but that he's already fought it once before. That they would do that. That they would take him off of television. Strip him of their top title first, which they had just waited months to finally crown him as their champion at SummerSlam. They beat him at WrestleMania. They beat him at that whatever that the greatest Royal Rumble was. He didn't win the title there. They waited and waited and waited. And finally, as his crowning moment at SummerSlam, that they would do that only to take the championship practically immediately off of him then take him off television at a time when their ratings are as low as they've ever been. For four months, he's been off TV so far. That they would do all of that while working with Susan G. Komen, while working with Connor's Cure. That they would risk all of that and potentially risk being exposed and having the rest of the talent find out talent who was crying their eyes out when they first heard the news everybody was all broken up about it and for the fans to possibly find out and their sponsors to find out you have to be a special kind of stupid to take all of that into account 
and still think that this entire thing has been one elaborate work. You honestly believe that they would take that risk and clown around about cancer? You were born with a brain for a reason. Please use all of it and not just part of it. There's a difference between having a little bit of skepticism in the back of your mind, but being able to accept reality and just flat out being stupid. I mean, I am talking about some of the extreme ones that I have seen in the last 48 hours or so. I, gra I grabbed two of them that I saw. There were so many. I grabbed two of them that I saw. This was posted under Vince McMahon's uh, official tweet the other day when he mentioned Roman was coming back to Raw. You got this one guy, what was it, Firas Zitan. It was all a work to get the fans to cheer for him. I can't tell you how many times I saw that. But this one, this one took the cake. This person here, he calls himself Roman Trash. Well, I mean, that tells you everything you need to know about this guy right there. This is what he said. He goes, I don't buy this shit at all. He leaves, he shows up at football games, and then he's making a movie with Dwayne. Like, what the fuck? Where are the chemo labs and blood work? I don't believe shit when it comes to Reigns. What are you, his fucking doctor? Show me his chemo labs and his blood work? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? You're nobody. Where are the chemo labs and blood work? I swear to God, some people are just too stupid to breathe. Too stupid to breathe. I want that guy to take a test of his own. An IQ test. And post the results so we can all see. I'd be shocked if he scores higher than a 20. But with a Twitter name like that, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The level of hate and vitriol that I have seen, especially from these extreme examples, has really exposed a lot of people these last few days. And it's exposed a really ugly side of wrestling fans and the wrestling community. We always knew it was there. But every now and then it really bubbles up and reminds you of exactly what you're dealing with here. And the unfortunate part is that no matter what happens tomorrow night, if Roman comes out and announces anything, other than just, you know, something negative. If it's anything positive at all, or I'm going to be appearing at WrestleMania, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. If he gets physical, if he takes a bump, if he does anything tomorrow night, it will not be enough to convince these people that this whole thing was a work from the word go. Anything like that that happens tomorrow night is going to be proof that this whole thing was a work and there's no convincing them otherwise. I hope the man is in good health. Whatever he may or may not do at WrestleMania, we'll see. Again, I don't see uh, a match in the works here. But I take it as a positive sign that things are going well. He'll be able to come back one day. And he'll even better, he'll be able to piss all of these people off all over again. I actually think this has made me more of a Roman Reigns fan. I actually cannot wait to see some of these people's heads explode when the man eventually comes back. That will bring me great joy to see that happen.